Good morning, Howard High School. It is April 10th. It is a B day. It is a Tuesday. It is a cold day, but hopefully it's going to be warming up as we get a little bit closer to the end of the week. Remember, we are going to be filling our day today with pride, punctuality, respect, integrity, determination, and excellence. And I really want you to think about that because we've only got three and a half more days left of this quarter. So all those little things that you need to do in order to kind of cross the finish line strong, we want to make sure that you're focusing on that. Really emphasize that excellence today. We also, as we're getting towards that warmer weather at the end of the week and hopefully for the rest of the school year, sometimes we can get a little bit itchy in the building, want to go around, run around, do some things. So I hope that you're able to enjoy the weather, but that means that you have to make sure that you are doing all of the things here in the building that you need to do in order to be able to do that. What does that mean? Here's what that means. I hope that you can go out at the end of the school day and you don't have a Saturday school or a detention for acting silly in the building or running late to your classes or acting in any manner that is inappropriate. We want to make sure that you are getting to class on time. We're going to be doing some more sweeps as we uh, start the fourth quarter. So again, make sure that you're filling your days with excellence, with pride, and I hope you have a great Tuesday. See ya. Good morning, Howard. Welcome back. <laughs> Juliana, did you know that today is National Siblings Day? I didn't, but now let's get to these announcements. <laughs> but first, please send up the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Howard students. On Wednesday, April 11, 2018, Howard will be hosting its very own Mr. Howard High School starting at 6 p.m. Come on out and show your lion pride because this event will be full of dancing, comedy, and even weightlifting. So if you want to have a great time with friends, see some of the top senior and junior boys perform, mark your calendars. Come join the Fellowship of Christian Athletes for Prayer and Fellowship every Wednesday from 2.15 to 2.30 in room B123. You don't have to be an athlete to participate. See Ms. Lawrence or Ms. Boosie if you have any questions. Do you need service hours? Are you interested in helping others? <laughs> if so, come to the UNICEF Club meetings on Thursdays at 2.15 in student services. We are looking for new members to join our cause of bringing awareness and financial support to worldwide and local issues. GSA will continue meeting on Wednesdays in N104 after school. <laughs> come out and meet new people, plan events and have fun. <laughs> the Howard Republicans will meet this Thursday in N205. Please come and share your thoughts and views in an open and friendly setting. You do not have to be a conservative or Republican in order to attend. All voices are welcome. <laughs> See you at 215 in N205. This is it, the event you don't want to miss. Come out and support your fellow students as they share their stories at the BSU Poetry Slam. A Walk in My Shoes. This event will be held in the cafeteria on Thursday, April 12th from 7 to 8.30. Breakfast food donations will be collected at the event, but admission is free. All are welcome to attend. Coffee House, formerly known as Java Palooza, is right around the corner. NAHS will be holding auditions next Wednesday, April 18th after school. Sign up for a time slot on the post outside of room A219. The JV softball team advanced to five a win yesterday over Reservoir. Angelina Tyler threw a shutout and only allowed one hit over five innings, striking out ten. Ellen Gabriel led the team, going three to three at bat. The team will travel to Wild Lake Wednesday. Game time is 4 p.m. Sarah, did you know that prom is only nine school days away? OMG, it's time to get excited about prom, Howard. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Chrissy and Cece show up next. Let's go. You could gaze into the future. How do you feel about graduation? Uh, I feel good. I feel like uh, I'm ready to be something in life. How do you feel about graduating? Well, you know, I can't wait to get up out of here. It's time to go. I feel good. Are you coming correct for prom this year? Um, yes, it will never be a mistake. It won't be mistaken. When they see me in prom, it's going to be correct. 
I'm gonna be setting the standards for the rest of the females that will be there that night. Okay. I'm gonna be coming all fresh and I'm gonna have the That's tough. Well, I planned on coming correct. You know. Looking like a snack. Okay. Kristen, you already know squad is gonna come correct. Do you plan on asking anyone to prom this year? Yes. Yes, I do. You wanna be asked to prom by anyone? Yeah, but nobody from here. Well, I wouldn't want it to be asked in front of a lot of people because I'm kind of shy. Well, that's all we have for you today, Howard. Have, have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday. Tuesday.